Today we're talking about optimizing Smite's performance, and by that I mean the performance of the game, not you as a player. While Smite isn't necessarily the oldest game out there, Smite was built on a now kind of outdated version of the Unreal Engine, and as such there are some issues coming with playing Smite in terms of optimization, in terms of FPS, in terms of lags, connection issues, all that kind of stuff. Partially factored due to that engine and partially due to the fact that the servers are not ideal for everyone. So naturally a lot of people are going to experience some level of lag, of stuttering, delay, graphic issues, FPS drops, all that kind of stuff. There are some things that can be done about that, there are a lot of things that can't be done about that. In this video we'll just address those that can somehow be helped. Some of these will be very obvious and most of you know about them, some will be a little more specific and I'm just gonna go through all of them, basically starting from the most simple ones and then going down to the more specific ones. The first one we will talk about is obviously graphic settings and resolution. Now, what you can always change if the game is lagging out for you is the resolution. This is probably not ideal because it doesn't necessarily look nice or anything, but if you feel like your PC is drastically underperforming when it comes to using Smite playing Smite, then lowering the resolution is probably gonna be the biggest step in performance increase. Other than that, there are quite a few graphic settings that affect the game's performance as well. Two that are the most crucial in my opinion are word details and shadows. Word details just drastically changes how the game looks and the lowest word details in my opinion don't really look that nice, especially on the conquest map. There are some odd clouds in the sky when you go to the lowest settings, but it will drastically increase your game performance if you just lower that by a little bit. And at least on medium settings the game still looks decent. In the same sense, the shadows don't really have too much of an impact on how the game feels I think but they will drastically change your performance, so lowering the shadow details and shaders in both regards can really help your performance. What's important to note about the world details is a big part of the reduced lag there comes from the fact that there is grass, and the grass apparently causes a lot of, well not issues, but delay uh, with certain systems, which is also why the siege map is so problematic for many to play, because it has so much grass, so many plants around there. Another thing that can be done directly in the graphics settings is turning off V-Sync. I don't see much of a reason to ever have V-Sync activated. Usually it tries to adjust your frame rate to your screen's frame rate, but it hardly ever really benefits the game. So typically, especially if you want to have the best reaction time possible, then you want to have V-Sync turned off as sometimes you're or with some games, and I'm not sure if that's the case with Smite, but the Input is actually tied with a V-Sync, so it might actually delay your abilities to have V-Sync on. The next very obvious step is turning off any background software that's running. Especially important here are browsers. Browsers actually hog up a lot of RAM, but they also take quite a fair bit of the processing power, especially if you have streams or stuff like that running in the background. So turning off any software that you don't need will obviously increase your performance. This should be known to most of you. Another thing that I think is very interesting is full screen versus borderlands windowed. Now, I have actually recently found a video that's for Overwatch where somebody tests the delay between full screen and borderless window. As in full screen, the application basically gets priority over anything else in the system. The game will generally be a bit more responsive. This is a few milliseconds difference, but it is still a difference, which I think can be significant. Whereas in windowed mode, the priority for the game is not quite as high. The benefit of windowed mode is that you're able to tap out much quicker, as the application is not the only thing that is being prioritized. Now the problem is that in Smite, full screen has been known to cause some issues for some players, and that's actually been the case for me. For some players, the game will have random frame drops, especially after tabbing out when playing in full screen, and the game runs a lot more fluid when running it in borderless window mode. I would just recommend testing out for yourself which one runs better for you. For that, you should press F8 while in the game. It will show you your FPS, it will show you your frame and all that stuff. So that way you can figure out which one is better for you. I would try out both and just see which one works better. If they're working equally well, I would recommend full screen simply for the better reaction time, unless you tab out a lot. In that case, window just makes more sense. 
I will link the video, the Overwatch video down below for those of you who are interested in the more technical details behind that. Most of that should apply for Smite as well. Then there are the routing issues. Some of you may be running on IP6. I cannot tell you the details of how routing and stuff like that works, but basically we have two systems now for connections, IP4 and IP6. And if you're on IP6 and the game is lagging out for you hard, you can call up your provider and you can ask them to change you back to IP4. And usually it should work. Sometimes they'll tell you off and you just have to call again and ask somebody else there. But it can help you with the lags in game because it's something that Hyrus can't really control and your provider can. I don't really know the technical details behind it, I just know that it works for some people. In the same sense, there is another way to apparently improve your routing, and that's softwares like WT Fast. Those are supposed to help you find ideal routing or automatically find ideal routing to the servers you're trying to connect to, and therefore lower your delay or your ping or whatever. I don't really know if those services work all too well. I've heard from some people that they really liked it and they had success with it, but at the same time those services cost money and I'm not sure if they're actually the ideal solution in this case. I just wanted to mention them here because they exist. Another thing for in-game lag that's more about your PC system is trying to turn off notifications for updates, for example for Java. I've just linked Java as an example here, you will know which update notifications pop up on your system constantly, especially on Windows 10. Those usually cause lags while in game and turning them off will fix that. There is also the option to upgrade or downgrade your graphics drivers or your drivers in general, but usually there are issues with the graphic cards. Check out if your graphic card is up to date in terms of drivers and if it is and it's running badly, then you can always try to go back a few versions, which is very easy on modern systems, and then try an older version instead, see if that causes less legs for you. I've seen both, sometimes a downgrading help for me, sometimes upgrading help. It really depends on what changes in the latest updates. There is also another thing that can cause legs for you, which is F-Lux. This should only be for very few people, because most of you probably don't use that. If you're using F-Lux and you experience lags when the brightness of your screen changes, then change your F-Lux to slow transition instead of fast transition. This will drastically decrease the lags that you're experiencing due to F-Lux. There is also the option to go into your battle game files, into your config files. You have to keep in mind that this is an Unreal game and Unreal games are typically to some extent customizable on the old versions and you can do that with these files. The, I link the description on how to do that down below and you can actually increase your performance beyond what is possible in the regular settings. But I would recommend being very careful with those. Definitely make backups if you change anything there, this is really, really important. And make sure you know what the effect you're, you're trying to cause is gonna do, if it's good. And also be wary that if you go too deep into these files and change something you that you're not supposed to change, you may actually end up possibly breaking something that may get you banned. I don't think it's very likely, especially if you just use the surface settings there, and I have done that in the past, but I just want to throw it out there that I don't want to be the one responsible for you being in any trouble because of that, as most game developers don't really like it if you fidget too much with their settings. And then, last but not least, there is Razer Cortex and similar software, which will allow you to basically shut off everything while running a game so the game runs more smooth. I would be very careful with that. There has been a report on the Reddit forums, at least one occasion, where somebody claimed that he got banned for Razer Cortex being used, basically a background software that the anti-hacking program picked up automatically as some kind of, well, hack, some kind of uh, interrupting software. As such, not worth the risk in my opinion, despite of it increasing your frames and stuff like that, apparently. It's there, I'm throwing it out there, I wouldn't recommend using it because of this particular case. Those are all the things I'm aware of that can improve your game's performance. If you know any more, then please drop it in the comments down below so you can help others with that. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you all for the next one tomorrow. I'll also be streaming right now on Twitch TV slash Duke Sloth if you want to stop by. Probably doing some sub games today and stuff like that. Duke Sloth, out.